Hello everyone, Segment Later here. Welcome back, Mass Effect Andromeda. Right, what else do we have to do around here? Done the murder, we've uh, picked up all the things from Site 2. A memory shard over there. We'll fast travel to here to make it a bit easier. Right, over there. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. All right, it's up there. Radiation within safe levels. Right, let's head back to the Nomad then, because we're going to need that. Um. Who are you? Clancy. Oh, right, your shop. Okay. The failure here was expensive, Pathfinder. It's worn all of us down, not just our shuttles. All right, then. There we go. Sophia radiation alert pathfinder. Pathfinder, this is the spot where Nigel McCoy wanted you to leave his pendant. In honor of his brother, Dash McCoy. Done. That is triggers over there. Good job, guys. Uh, Sam, another memory prompt? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. All right, cool. Right, no, I don't want to go into the Tempest yet. Research station. Oh, yeah, I needed to research a thing, didn't I? Memory trigger over there. Hitting rocks for science. Right, let's head back down there. And look at the research station. Within safe levels. Life support restored. Excellent stuff. Oh, I've got quite a few points to spend.
Permanent tech, alias research data. Excellent. Right. Where's my assault rifle? Let's do some more of this. Development. Good, someone's doing shit next door. Pathfinder Arms. What do they do? All right, they're under. De they're being developed. Great, that. Recharge. Let's go with that one. All right, can't spend any more on that. Um, Oh, oh, there is an auto level up. All right, there we go. Plane thrower. All right, that would do. Okay, what's over here? Right, where are you? Oh, here we go. Uh, new entry, final entry. I'm closing Muster Point Delta and calling the evacuation complete. No one left is responding. I swore to them. Resume. Enough of that. I can't even finish one damn project that might have saved them. This rock beat us and I accept my part. Joining the last shuttle out. Luckily back into likely back into cryo. I won't be a drain if this is the long slide. But if there's a way to finish what we started, I'll be back. This is Chief Engineer Grace out.
Recording Initiative Cryo Identification E97 Durango. Chief Engineer Grace Vito. Last one out during the evac. She took risks and they didn't work, but nothing worked. Gave it everything she could. Maybe that's all you can do. True. All right. That's that done. More places to explore over here as well. Can we make things more viable? That's the question. Don't I, I really can't remember how, the best way to go about this this game. Do we randomly explore or come back later? Let's do some random exploring. See if we can uh, trigger some stuff, improve the viability a bit more. And that's here. Okay. Right. That. Uh, okay. We'll go in this direction. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. There we go. Remnant technology. Now, lucky they have Ezo here as well. That's that's uh, fortunate. It says something about PB, PB's uh, REM tech. I don't see any. Radiation uh. levels are severe. Seek safety immediately. All right, this area is not good. All right, we can't randomly explore. All right, so. Fair enough. We can't randomly explore yet. The the and it needs time to do its thing. All right. Support restored. Thanks, Sam. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmore. 
All clear. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you. Aiming the dead. Last one to really do there for now, but we can't do that yet. Anomaly on sensors. Where? You keep saying this to me, but where? In here somewhere, maybe? No. Alright, let's head over here. Collision is imminent. All stop now. Hi. Cat ships, a dozen. No, more. Um. They've got us pinned against the scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. Well, scan them back. Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. You have no idea how right you are. Sam, I have plotted a potential course through the scourge. Do it! Ha! <laughs> Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. <laughs> It will be tight. Hello. <laughs> yes. Good job, Callow. <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. Open a comm. Tove, Chagalesto. Listen, sorry to just show up like this, but I swear, we're the galactic good guys. Efanola, Fahan and Gasad Regara. Efanola. <laughs> They're forcing us to land. Then we land. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful.
Uh, we're going to meet the, the nice locals now. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. This is what it's all about, right? New worlds, new aliens. Wish me luck. Thank you. They have their goals. Mason Roa. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes, you crossed dark space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Hmm. Aya is hidden, protected. What do you want? We come with a spirit of cooperation, and to live in harmony. <laughs> We've heard that before. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance Headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is Fair it enough. okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. Yeah, you having issues with the cat too. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. This is insane. It belongs in a containment cell. We're going to try to handle this. You don't know what you're doing. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. How did it find us? He, not it. And stop staring. <laughs> Why is Paran allowing this? None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Nice. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Afro doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. Okay, apparently I can open their doors. But this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I'm telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. <laughs> Thank you. 
Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way, a Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. My people from the Milky Way were bold enough to come to Andromeda. I need to be at least that bold to save them. Hmm. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. <laughs> but I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. <laughs> I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Be careful out there. Mm. You know I will. You really think the Moshe is alive? I'm sure of it. Don't kill yourself bringing her home. No promises. Stars above! It's you! I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah. This is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life, why did you do it? I couldn't resist the adventure of a lifetime. I know the feeling. There's a rush in taking a chance and hoping for the best. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? <laughs> oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajar, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? I still have a lot to learn. Centuries ago, the Scourge targeted my people. Our ships were the first to go dark. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. 
The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with a new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. They heard your conversation with Ephra. I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. You're trusting your history with an outsider? I know what people say about you, but I don't agree. I think you're here to help. I am. Now's your chance to prove it. You want to earn Aya's respect, right? Recovering our past will go a long way. I don't think Ephra would be too happy with this arrangement. Ephra doesn't have to know, and if he finds out, he can direct his anger at me. It takes guts to stand up to him. I'd face worse to get a piece of our history back. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. You are welcome. Hey. I am Enro Bosan, assistant to Governor Paranshai. You're free to explore this area, but the city is off limits. Until that changes, I'll be your liaison. How may I help you, Pathfinder? Sounded like you and Jal know each other. Our families are related. You sound nothing alike. We have multiple worlds. Our culture is complex. I'd like to know more. Earn our trust and maybe you will. When am I allowed to visit the city again? That's not for me to decide. Who will? Your boss? Or Ephra? Governor Shai has jurisdiction over Aya. She will authorize your entrance if you earn Ephra's trust. You met Avela. One of our colony suppliers, Serka, also expressed interest in you. The Ket swayed us with words. Now we judge outsiders by their actions. Understandable. What can you tell me about your other worlds? Life on them is hard. The people harder. Every day is a struggle to survive. Why not bring everyone here? We will not abandon any more worlds to the Ket. And Aya cannot support all of us. You don't just stand here waiting to answer my questions, right? I assist the governor in all matters. While you're here, this is my priority. Pretty far outside your normal job, huh? I did not begin this day expecting to speak with it. You? <laughs> nice save. Yeah, it's been a long day. Thanks for your time, Enro. Of course. All right, I'm going to have to explore this area, so let's... Do that. They shouldn't be allowed here. My brother is one of those who think that and his people will get us in trouble. Sorry to hear it. I mean, our luck's running high when you think about it. The cat are bound to figure out how to get here someday. Let's just hope that later rather than sooner. Alright, let's check the other side. Oh, you're sorry I can talk to. Hello. Trade? Trade. Trade. Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? We have credits, but little to spend them on. You think you might spend them here? Could be. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. What do you offer? I don't know. What do you want? Your ship. Not for sale. Worth a try. Is there <laughs> something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. Can't hurt to ask. You're one of few people here willing to give me a chance. I'll take it. 
You have a ship? I have my supplies in that point. His name is Kelvin. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. Alright, good stuff. See if there's anything else around here. Uh, Kes have uh, felt the power of the resistance and they know their end is coming. Our victories unrolled are only the beginning of what we can achieve, but we can't defeat the enemy without your help. If you're tired of living in fear, if you believe we were meant for something greater than slavery, if you're willing to stand up and fight, you'll find a new family in the resistance. We'll train you to strike back at the Ket and reclaim what is ours. The resistance defends the future of all Angara. Join us. I've already scanned the ship. Anything over here? Alright, let's head back to the Tempest. Do all we can here. Whoops. Your ship is... <laughs> we have... Nothing like it. Where do you see the inside? <laughs> it gets better. Oh, yeah. You ready to go? I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Do the translators not work? They work. I know we're improvising as we go, but let's remember that there is Pathfinder team protocol. Don't think I got that handbook. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jol has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jol? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl? ...is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become... ...wild and... ...dangerous. 
We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? <laughs> You'll get there. Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. But nothing there at the moment. What do you make of the Angara, Doc? Still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so emotional. I can't wait for my first session with Jarl. Try not to scare him away, huh? <laughs> I don't have any more of these to spend yet. Need something? No, we're all right for now. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Right, no one in here. So, Jal. So, we haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are, you are, aliens. And you're alien to us. So there, we have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to... Get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy. Raw. Somehow profound. Face value, that sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. As if I didn't have enough on my plate, add deciphering alien psychology. What plate? Exactly. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> All right, let's catch up with everyone. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two-hour argument yesterday, and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. 
still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Movie night, good idea. Oh, strike teams, how are they doing? Mission successful. Excellent. Fire enemy research. And a strike team. Uh, delay shi uh, ships. There we go. Bridges four, engine rooms aft, med bay starboard. Smart stuff up front, powers in back. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Do I need to get Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> Maybe. People have been telling me I'm crazy my whole life. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. <laughs> it was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Willing to put your streak on the line? Huh. I'll risk it. Next time we port up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. Right, good stuff. APB. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? <laughs> you really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Not much at all. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. Nice. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra, not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. And Jal. That book hasn't even been written yet, has it? Exciting. What about... Gail smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right, Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? <laughs> oh, is it my turn to talk? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I should work on my motor. You might find that people reveal themselves more freely if you give them a chance. Cora included. Really good advice. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in a sorry. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements. Don't you think? 
Mm. I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Alright. What the hell you not doing down here? Alright, Cora, what are you doing? That Archon. Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. He's also the first cat who bothered to talk to us. That's useful intel. True. They can communicate. They just prefer to open fire. So, what else is new? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Nothing new. Let's stay optimistic. Any more commando war stories? I always liked Janae. She was only 200, and with me around, she wasn't the kid anymore. She was a biotic protege. I once saw her yank an AA gun right off its housing, crushed a gang of slavers with it. Ouch. I didn't feel it for long. Janae was a good friend. Maybe she still is back there. Won't be a kid now, though. Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. Does that mean fraternization is okay for Asari commandos? It'll happen, but usually only for one deployment. Asari don't usually stay with each other long term. After your 500th birthday, you learn some self-control. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Uh, who's next? Metra? Not here. No one in here. Where is Vestra? Alright, they're in here. Are they above me or below me though? That's our last fire drill. Okay. Right. Been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last time was the humans. Oh yeah. You lived through first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were they're bold for being so squishy. Do they know they're mostly water? Harsh. Don't let Ryder hear you. I heard that. I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that vault certainly was a first. Things are gonna be interesting with you around, kid. Doesn't matter what life throws at me. It's what I make of it, right? You keep that going, you just might live as long as I have. Minus zero at the end. <laughs> we can talk more later. Sure. Hey, Vetra, how you doing? Terraforming Atmo processors, gravity wells, life destroying murder bubbles. We really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving. And everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone? Ugh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. 
It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked, and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't, and that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. Fair. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Uh, right, I should probably check my emails as well. Have a look. Where are they? Remtech. Uh, thanks for that remnant storage box from EOS Vault. All I need is one particular piece of Remtech to complete my project. My scanner located what I need on on Vold. If we have a chance, can we go find it? Yep. Hey Ryder, word is you had a successful mission on EOS. Well done. Want to talk about it? Yep. Brothers McCoy. Uh, my brother Dash was my best friend. It still pains me that he's gone, but that won't that won't build the future here in Andromeda together. But knowing that our fa uh, family dependents are united does my heart good. When my wife and I settle here and start a family, our firstborn will, will carry my brother's name. And hopefully he or she will become my new best friend. My sincerest hopes accompany you and your team. Nigel. Uh, PB the Peeved. Your doctor is one of the nosiest Asari I've met, and that's saying a lot. She needs to take it down five, four or five notches, or I won't be long for this show. Which would be too bad, I think. Oh, never mind. Hey, Pathfinder, just hitting this point again. Our team, no place I'd rather be. Here's where we got uh, get to fix things. Soon as we have people on the ground, I'll have eyes on how to get them what they need. This sort of just makes it happen is why I joined Hustle. And exactly why I came here. We'll do it, Costa. Uh, Liam has included a list of media themed to frontiers. Genres include Western, space opera, and oddly Turian historical dramas. Uh, Pathfinder, I thought I ought to clarify. I know I said uh, something about back channels doing what I have to do, being on the Nexus during the bad times, a lot of us got used to a lot of ugly things because survival just isn't that pretty. But in the end, I'm here to help you. If there's anything you don't like, I won't do it. Simple as that. In case you're interested, Krogan Virility and Aggression Rider attached is my Krogan thesis that I mentioned to you. I know only 500 pages, but I wasn't allowed to go over. If you get through it, I wrote a longer dissertation for the Citadel Journal of Medicine, around 1,400 pages. That's much more insightful and includes mating diagrams. Lexi, why would I need that? Uh, from Joel. A manifest of items I thought I brought, I brought aboard your ship, the Tempest. Thank you, it's brilliant. I also brought my personal weapon, a Ket rifle. I've been issued an Omni tool, which I'm currently calibrating. I hope this this is complete. From Ios, I could use your help with something Hainley is working on. I don't fully understand, so I'll, I'll let her explain it. She'll brief you when you get here. All right then. Got a plan. Come by when you've got a minute. Got an idea? I want to run by you. It might. Oh right, yeah, we've done that. Okay. Hello, Scott. Meeting with Yangara is truly historic. I'll say. My only comparison is Alec Ryder's experience in the First Contact War. A time of uncertainty and cultural misunderstanding. We are arguably in a similar time, 
yet your encounter was peaceful. I can see what humanity has learned. <clears throat> Is it confusing to be in multiple places, talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. That's good. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes, this terminal provides a direct link to my servers in SAM node on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. Let's say hypothetically, I was out sick the day they taught quantum <clears throat> uh, embezzlement communism. Via entangled subatomic particles, it's possible to conduct secure and instantaneous communication across great distances. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. Good stuff. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes. Lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A Neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. <laughs> I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. What was Dad's take on me and Sarah? He believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well-founded. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Alright, let's have a chat with Suvi and Callow, and then I think we'll call this episode... Closed. Hey guys. Maya has so much biodiversity and the waterfalls. Just like Sir Kesh. Mm. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... <laughs> oh, joking. I see. <laughs> Good one. Oh, Suvi. I take you work closely with the Nexus science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one. And Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the guests. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. A what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. No, oh, if only you knew that things had changed. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, 
Let's just say that while other kids find Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist? Convinced me even more. Especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor. Not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Sylvie, you're adorable. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Every good space station needs a big lake. Maybe some fountains. Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Very true. All right. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.